Hello guys, uh, welcome to this video. I'm looking at task 15A. Um, actually, before I start the question, if you're hearing some kind of sound on the background, it might be the sound of the rain because it's raining cats and dogs over here. Okay, so let's begin. Add to the, so the question says, add to the spreadsheet saved in task 15D, a new column one with the label title, right? Validate the cells in rows 2 to 30 of this column to make sure only Mr., Mrs., Miss, and Dr. are allowed. Okay? So what I'm going to do, I'll go to my work folder. I want to open task 15D. Okay? So before I continue, I want to save it as task 15E. Let me do that. Uh, yeah. E. Okay, so I want to add a new column here. So I want to right click up here and then insert. I want to have it as title. Uh, title. Okay, so now um, I'm going to select from A2 to A30 actually here, right? You can select more than that actually, right? So I want to go to data. My data tab i want to go to validation and then data validation um i want to have it as list i want to have my validation criteria as list now what would be my source my source will be mr comma mrs comma uh comma right yeah comma and then i have a miss and then doctor so this will be my um my criteria, my source, right? So, and the next thing is to have your error message. So, my error message can be, oops, something like this. That's the title of the error message. So, the, the error message will now be uh, invalid, something like invalid data, invalid uh, data, okay, um, imputes. Um, Mr. Mrs. Miss or Doctor, something like this. So I can have something like this as my error message. So whenever you put something different from what is in the drop down, you're going to have a message like this. So I'm going to just uh, okay, let me just put this as exclamation mark. Yeah, so you can okay that. So everything will be validated here. So it will have a drop down that will allow you to actually choose from a drop down. Okay, so you'll be limited within this boundary of uh, Mr. to Doctor. All right. So let's assume I want to add something different, maybe a number, and then see what happens. So the message will pop up here, right? So and it, it will not allow you to have in there. So let me have some like Mr. Let me have Mr. Mr. in capital letter and see what that's going to allow. So exactly, it's not going to allow. So which means it's case sensitive here. Okay. So that's about it. So if you put something different, it's not going to allow you unless it's within, is is exactly what is in the drop down. So if I kind of put, uh, let me say, Mrs. It has to look, it has to be exactly Mrs. That's when you can allow that, right? So that's one way to do this. So let me show you one more way. So let me just go to G one let me put title there let me just show you something so i just want to do it here so i can just remove it okay okay so what i'm going to do let me let me actually do something here so first of all um so this is validated already so uh let me remove this data here so everything here is validated here right so let me save it let me save this so that i won't I'll be able to i won't save this next one so let me have title here okay now I want to validate this, so I want to create a new sheet here. So I want to come to anywhere. I'll have um, Mr., Mrs., Miss, and uh, Doctor. So I want to have it here, right? So I want the validation to be somewhere in this column, right? So I will go to that uh, from data tab to uh, validation, data validation, okay? So I will have list here, and then 
my range my range is going to be in the next sheet here so i'm going to click there and then select my range here so okay so i'll go back and then okay that so that will actually um have that in there so but i just forget i just forgot something i forgot the error message so i want to have the error message not accepted so let me just put something um, different not accepted sorry something like this not accepted okay and then have a uh, data must be mr uh mrs uh, let me just say data must be a title so i know why i'm doing this because i'm going to change a couple of things so that you'll be able to see how um it looks so let me just have this just for the sake of this um exercise so as you can see it can happen that way so this is more convenient because anytime you want to change this you don't have to start let's say you have a bunch of uh, titles you want to add you don't have to just go and start uh, you know adding them in there uh like what we have in the first example so what i'm going to do if i want to have something like let's say i don't want doctor anymore i want to have prof right there so i can write prof in there immediately so it changes over there so as you can see prof changes now if i want to have more uh drop down probably more titles you can actually have more titles like uh, so let me just add back the, the doctor i want to have uh, probably sir uh i want to have sir sir i want to have mp something like that as my title right so what i'm going to do is obviously it's not going to appear here because of the range in the uh in the data validation right so what i'm going to do is to still select everything again i want to go back right there now i want to change the setting i want to change the range of the source right now so to cover more of this so you can even have cover more in case if you have, if you have to add more titles right so i have this um and i'll okay that okay you can also change the um, error message if you want to okay but for the sake of this i'm not going to bother about that so i'm going to just uh, okay that right so it's going to have more so if i decide to so it's going to have more titles here so it, since the range has it covered a couple of ranges beyond mp here right so if i have something like uh, um degree something uh, degree what other title can i have reverend something like that reverend uh reverend some am i correct reverend so if i have something like this as my um title let's see so it's gonna it's gonna also be in there as you can see so that is how you can get this done all right so i hope uh, you've been able to learn something so thank you so much don't forget to subscribe and then share the video uh we'll see you in the next one bye